today on Sailing Joy. It has been a pretty good passage so far, about three hours into it. I think, uh, you know, it's gonna be a, uh, another day and we're gonna be in Trapani in uh, Sicily. In the middle of the crossing yesterday, we started to smell a weird smell inside of uh, Joy. But the smell started to get worse and worse. I started to go all around Joy to see if, if I could find something. And whenever I enter the starboard side engine, and our time in Sardinia have come to an end. And it was time to sail to our last anchorage around here before crossing to the island of Sicily. be three days and three nights that we're gonna stay here with winds uh, up to I don't know 40 knots so we came here very early to find a place and everything else and we went to take a little nap because we were tired tired from last night and guess what this guy throws anchor right in front of us it's just like just not good to throw in front of the other boat it's dangerous for everybody anyhow now we're like uh, watching i told him to re-anchor he said no that he's uh, fine so it is what it is during the night with wind gusts of 30 knots the sailboat that we have advised the day before setting anchor too close to us at only 35 meters apart end up being only 20 meters from the bow of our boat the next morning i believe after a restless night of sleep he decided to move to the other side of the bay, far from everyone, before even stronger forecasted wind gusts arrived in the afternoon. So the wind started around here, and uh, as you guys can see here on the chart plotter, we had a peak already of 36 knots oh sorry we had a peak already of 36 knots we were we were very very safe in terms of uh how well we we're holding uh, as you can see here look this is our anchor drawing So we're seeing winds here up to 35 knots so far. I think it's gonna be gusting probably up to 40. Our Rockna 40 kilos is holding very, very well as you guys can see here on the drawing. I usually say if you see a smile, that's because your anchor is holding very well. If you don't, it's dragging a little bit. But we are all hands on deck here, making sure that uh, if we do drag or any other, other boats drag, uh, we are like on the lookout and we can act very fast. One positive thing is we don't have any boats in front of us anymore. Hoje eu tô tranquila. A âncora tá bem fincada e tal, só é desconfortável, mas na outra noite eu não tava tranquila não. O barco tava aqui na nossa frente. Bora esperar, né, passar. Queria dormir porque eu tô igual um zumbi, já tem várias noites que eu não durmo bem. Aí eu achei que eu ia dormir agora. Como é que dorme com esse vento? Right before it got dark, we could feel the wind begin to calm down. And it looked as we were going to have a peaceful night. It's 2.30 in the morning. I woke up with a lateral movement on Joy this way. And a noise that I have never heard before. It's like a cracking noise. When you live on a boat, you get to know the noises that it makes by heart. And if a new one is introduced to the symphony, it raises a red flag. So Daryl went to try to pinpoint the cause of the new noise on Joy. After all, tomorrow would be a big day for us. And I wanted to make sure all was okay for the crossing. I could not find the issue that night, but knew something could be wrong with an equipment on our storeboard engine room, where besides the engine hosts many equipments like the solar panel controllers, 
batteries, autopilot, and so on. I have learned along the years at sea that a boat will talk to you. It will not go as far as tell you what the problem is, but it will give you little hints that could help you solve a possible not so obvious problem. and we're finally leaving Sardinia towards Sicily. It's gonna be a one day and 10 hours crossing. We plan to do this 160 nautical miles uh, in the following two days, arriving there probably around at uh, five or six o'clock uh, in the afternoon tomorrow. Uh, the sea condition is gonna be between half a meter and a meter tops and uh, we're gonna have uh, winds between five and gusts of 20 maximum. It's very, very far apart, so we don't know. So we put our Jenniker up, we have our Genoa, and uh, we're crossing our fingers, it's gonna be a very good uh, uh, crossing. So we're leaving 7 a.m., and in a little bit, we're gonna be in, Sa in Sicilia. has been a pretty good passage so far, about three hours into it. We have gone already uh, 15, 16 nautical miles, which is pretty good, average speed of uh, close to six knots. And our top speed so far has been 8.2. So the winds are varying between 11 and 20 knots. Uh, so it's taking us, uh, moving us forward pretty fast. And the waves are from behind. Uh, I'll show you guys, uh, the waves are probably 0 0.6, 0 0.7 right now. Uh, which is not that big, but it's not that low a, a, as well, so it's, it's pretty good. I come in inside Joy uh, many times during a passage because I want to hear if there are any new creaking noises. Surprisingly, she has been pretty quiet. Once in a while, I hear some creaking noises here in the middle, right here. Uh, I know we have bulkheads here, we have bulkheads there, and we have uh, bulkheads over there. So, you know, from what has happened before with the Lagoon 450s and so on, so those are things that I pay a lot of attention just uh, to make sure that we're not hearing new creaking noises. Uh, there are some here, uh, but it's, I think, under control. No cracks or anything on Joy, so this is, this is good. And it's almost eight o'clock at night, uh, almost time for a sunset. We were able to sail all day long, which was uh, very good and uh, not on the forecast, actually. We thought we were gonna sail maybe like uh, six, seven hours, but we end up sailing about 12 hours today. And now uh, we're moving along uh, between four and five just with our Jenniker up. Uh, we decided not to uh, use uh, the main sail today because uh, the waves is throwing us from one side to the other and it makes a lot of noise with the main sail. So we're uh, gonna go in into the night. Very low winds tonight. I think we're gonna have to take the Jenniker down sometime uh, in the evening. We don't know what time. And uh, we're here right now. We have about 75 nautical miles to go uh, to Sicily. So, uh, you know, as you guys see, our speed has gone down. We have been sailing all day long uh, with an average speed that we can show you guys here. Today's here, 5.5, that's our average speed. Max speed, 8.6 for today. So we have done so far 17 nautical miles in almost 13 hours. So uh, in a little bit, we're gonna have the sunset and it's gonna be evening, so we can do our turns. Uh, we're gonna sleep two hours each, uh, so uh, each one can be on the lookout for other boats and so on. So uh, that's what we have done today and we have like 12 more hours to go.
and in the evenings what we do we choose to lower our table and uh, put another cushion here so we can do our watches from here so uh, while Patricia sleeps or I sleep we have the chart plotter which is right there and we can uh, check it out everything that is happening so it's a good setup and now we have control of the boat from the inside so we don't have to be outside and uh, I think it's gonna be uh, you know, it's gonna be a pleasant night tonight and we're gonna do it from here. So no tuna today for us, huh? Tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. When I crossed the Atlantic Ocean aboard Joy 1, I felt that the sunsets and sunrises always gave me an opportunity to reflect about life and thank for the opportunity to experience life this way. crossing, even a small one, I believe, do trigger this type of behavior. And it was good to watch Patricia admire quietly this special sunset at sea, while Joy slowly sailed into the evening. already inside a joy for the night sail. At night, we turn those red lights to avoid any bright lights around the boat. So that way, our eyes get used to the darkness and allow you to see so much better. The night was so calm that obligated us to lower our sails and turn the engines on. On one side of the horizon, we could see a big cruise ship that was shining like a diamond in the darkness. And right on the other side, very far away clouds with lightning. The moon was providing enough light so I could see the water around us and the stars were painting the entire sky as it was drop of white points on a blackboard. So I stayed out for hours watching it and forgot to wake up Patricia for her shift. A new day have arrived and I was tired but Patricia was able to catch the sunrise while I rest for a few hours. And we have arrived here in Sicily. It was uh, 33 hours uh, from Sardinia to here. We had a very good uh, sail. 50% uh, of the time we were with our Jenniker up, just to the, just the Jenniker, no main sail or anything. It was very good. And then the rest of the time uh, we had to motor. Uh, there was no wind, so at least the ocean was good in terms of the waves we have maximum a meter a meter point three so it was comfortable whenever we did this crossing pretty good so now we're gonna be going to a marina in Trapani and we're gonna be arriving at the marina at 1 p.m. Strong gusts and a tight <laughs> slot created the need to get all the help we could get to stop at the marina in the city of Trapani in Sardinia. Okay. Oh, 
So you guys can understand what happened. In the middle of the crossing yesterday, we started to smell a weird smell inside of uh, Joy. We thought it was the anchor and the chain that was on the water for like a week because of the bad weather. So we thought it was like algae or something like that. But the smell started to get worse and worse. And it was like a very stinky kind of smell, you know, like urine whenever it dries up, something like that. So we got in the marina, we slept, and uh, the next day, which is today, I started to go all around Joy to see if, if I could find something that would, was generating this type of smell. So I, I went to the engines, which I check constantly, and whenever I enter the starboard side engine, there was a lot of condensation inside that box over there, and the engine was all wet. So I thought it was something like water coming in, it was not salt water because I tasted it, it was like a fresh water. So I started looking and looking and looking whenever I saw two of the batteries that we have, extremely hot. I promptly re re uh, removed the plastic that was on top of it, put my hand and almost burned my hand. I think it was, I don't know, 80 degrees each one of the batteries. So we still don't know exactly what happened. Uh, we could see some smoke coming out of it. I don't know if it was the condensation of the water or there's a, something that broke on the, on the battery, but I think they're in, in a short circuit, which is a huge problem because they can explode. Uh, the boat is just one year old. Uh, old. The batteries are one year old. This, sh this shouldn't happen. We just measured, you know, how much uh, charge the solar panels are bringing to the batteries. It's normal. The shore power to the batteries. It's normal. We haven't yet measured how much it's bringing in, in in terms of voltage from the engine. So that could be a problem because we motored a lot. We motored about 15 hours. So. You know, we are at a marina that the guys are terrific here in, in Trapani in Sicily. And they found an electrician to come on board. They're gonna be arriving in two hours. We have the fire extinguishers out. We're like on a constant lookout because this is a very dangerous situation because we're like in a very tight marina and anything can happen. So uh, we're like uh, really monitoring this up close to see what happens. In a few hours, we got the visit of the electrical engineer, which gave us the bad news one of our batteries malfunctioned and fried, taking with it the entire battery bank. We also learned that those batteries do not explode. They crack and the liquid inside gets exposed. The only option we have now is to replace the entire battery bank in order to be able to continue our journey. <laughs> Next on Sailing Joy. Today marks a very important day to us because we're starting the journey to go to our winter destination, which is Montenegro, a place that we never ever thought about visiting. <laughs> 